What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out what I think is a very, very synergistic deck featuring some very awesome cards, in my opinion. Uh, it is the Teamer Draw 2 deck. Now, we've played some Draw 2 decks before. A lot of those, as you guys are are probably aware, play things like the, uh, the Iron Crag Pyromancer, as well as like Improbable Alliance. But where this deck gets to kind of take it that, that next step further is uh, by em by uh, employing green a little bit, we also get Joel Rael, uh, which is one of my favorite cards from Corset 2021, just because of the extra value that you can get off of it. Uh, but not only that, we also get a lot of these little ramp elements, uh, which help us draw our second card for the turn. Uh, and what's really cool also is that because we get things like Grow Spiral, which is instant speed, we've got Opt, which is instant speed, we've got Thrill of Possibility, which is instant speed, and of course, new to Fairy, we can actually draw two cards pretty easily on the opponent's turn. Uh, now what that means is we can actually get double the activations pretty easily off of this. We also have got a lot of little tech pieces like Mystical Dispute and Aether Gust. So uh, without further ado, let's let's just kind of run through it very, very quickly. Obviously, in terms of draw spells, we have Opt, we have Thrill of Possibility. Uh, like I said, Grow Spiral is Ramp and Draw. Uh, Uro is Ramp and Draw. Uh, and then, of course, the Royal Scions draw discard a card, which is a great little activation, as well as Teferi Master of Time, which, again, we can activate on both our turn and our opponent's turn, uh, and eventually deal with creatures, and also, if we if we get there, take some extra turns, which would be amazing. Uh, as far as uh, payoff cards, like I said, we've got Joel Rael. Improbable Alliance is very, very good. Really helps us stay alive against a lot of different things. Uh, and then, of course, the Pyromancer to deal with uh, opposing creatures, which is really, really important. Or just, you know, punch the, uh, the opponent in the face for three, which is awesome. So, really, really powerful. Uh, like I said, some interactive spells. Brazen Borrower here, a great way to kind of devalue some of the stuff the opponent's doing. Especially if we end up against, like, a Mutate deck or... Um, something where, you know, they're, they're piling on like an Ember Cleave against Mono Red, uh, we just bounce the thing, uh, and then all of a sudden that devalues or at least takes a turn away from them. Uh, Mystical Dispute, great little counter spell. Only a two of here, uh, because we are so dedicated to the plan, but it is very, very useful. Uh, and then of course Aether Gust, which a lot of times there are going to be matchups where this doesn't do anything. It is, it, it has to target a green or red spell, but... Uh, the fact that we can discard this to something like Improbable Alliance, like Royal Scions, or like Teferi just makes this, you know, a perfect card for this deck. Uh, the last one that I really wanted to talk about here is Hydroid Crisis. This is kind of the big beater of the deck. Uh, not only does it allow you to draw some extra cards, so it does help you trigger a lot of things. Also gains you a bunch of life uh, and just gives you a nice evasive and uh, really powerful beater in the air. Uh, so really, really strong card. We've only got two, but again, we're drawing cards pretty regularly. You'll notice we've got twos, threes, things like that. That's not all that uh, abnormal in a deck like this where it's pretty easy to kind of churn through your deck. Uh, we do have 24 lands, so three, uh, two, and two on the basic split. Of course, the full gambit of shock lands, a few Ketria Triumphs, and then two Fabled Passage. So that's the deck. Uh, it's a really sweet one. I have play tested this just a little bit. Uh, and certainly suffers in some areas that we'll, of course, talk about as we go through. But uh, I love the synergy of a deck like this. Um, I've always been fond of things like Improbable Alliance and the, uh, the Pyromancer. And so it's really fun to be able to see a deck that incorporates some ramp elements into uh, being able to take advantage of that extra draw. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I don't know exactly how many wins we're going to get, obviously. But uh, hopefully we can at least get a few here. Uh do we keep um this is a little bit of an interesting hand it's very interactive uh with some aether gusts and things like that even the pyromancer here let's give it a shot we'll see uh if it doesn't work that's fine we'll uh we'll we'll live and we'll learn um i think it's important when you test a deck to keep a few different looking hands i mean if you've got a decent number of spells here and some lands i think you're fine to try and keep it and you find out what doesn't work and that's fine um, or you find out that it does work and then you're in great shape. So we will see. We will see. We will see. Uh, looks like another teamer deck. Ooh. Uh, well, I really like that. Um, let's go ahead and play Joel Rael out then. Uh, especially with the opt in hand. Uh, that just gives us a way to get an extra little 2 2 next turn. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
Uh, would love to get an untapped land, uh, because again, getting a Pyromancer down just gives us a little bit more of a solid foundation, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. It looks like Mutate is the plan. Okay, so we did get the untapped land. Um, hmm. I very much wish that we could do a little bit of both here. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's play this out here. Again, we're just going to keep setting up, I think, uh, in these early turns. They are probably just going to go ahead and mutate onto this, uh, which is going to be annoying, sure. Um, but we do have Aethergust to put a green permanent, so if they're putting this on top, then we can actually kind of get around it. Um, should be kind of nice. Sure. Let's see what they do. They've got three mana open. Don't really know. They could just mutate again, yeah. Ooh, that's a little bit more tricky, uh, because we obviously can't just, uh, bounce that, but... Uh, this is a very good card for sure. Now, what we do have is kind of the air of we get to go wide and we get to deal a lot more damage than they do in general. Um, so we should be okay. The other option is just to do this and then we can just shoot it down with the opt. Kind of like that plan. I like that plan quite a, quite a lot. Let's do that. Um, these Pyromancers are very, very good. Now we do have to get blue here. Let's go ahead and opt. Um, mm, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Uh, not 100% sure about that, but Brazen Borrower is a phenomenal draw. Let's do this. So now not only do we get to, you know, get this off the field, but we also get a 2-2. Two -two, and we'll get a, a one-point life swing. Heck yes. Really love the synergy of this deck. And this is what I'm talking about. You just get so much synergy uh, with all of this. Um... Now, I don't know if they've got a great way to deal with this in particular. Uh, but the Royal Scions is going to really help us, I think, here. So, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I love all of these cards. I'm actually going to put the Mystical Dispute on the uh, bottom here. Alright. Or, excuse me, discard it. Uh, let's... We're paying two here. We don't necessarily have to, but it does just give us the out of um, bouncing something with the Brazen Borrower or the Aether Gust here. I think that that's worth it. Um, I feel like we're in a fairly decent position, uh, given that we just have a lot of, you know, synergy stuff going on at the moment. But um, you do have to leave yourself these outs, of course. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and bounce it. I don't know, though. Do we actually... We kind of don't want to, because we get to just kill it. <laughs> um, let's do that. Should have probably waited to play the land. That was a bit of a mistake, but... Uh, I'm going to put this back. Deal three here. Deal three here. Get our two-two. This deck is running it uh, very, very well. Um, let's attack here. Uh, and I think we'll go ahead and play this Uro here. Um, I do understand that this is a draw for us, so there is a bit of a waste in doing this, but gains us a little bit of life and um, gets another land on the field, so next turn, hopefully we're in decent shape. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum. Okay. Kind of glad we have the Brazen Borrower here. Um, we'll see what they get. This is a very powerful card, so there is every right in the world that they could just kill us here, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Yep. All right. Cool. We got there. <laughs> oh, man. I love this deck. I love it so much. Uh, the synergy is just phenomenal. So that's exactly what we're trying to do every single time. Uh, it's a bit of a controlly feeling deck um, in the sense that uh, once you've got the foundation set up, you kind of just play to your strength, whatever that is on the opponent's side of the field. You just try and deal with every step of the way. Um, and against that mutate deck, you can see the power of those pyromancers where you just start to to ping everything down and then you're getting like two for one three for one value uh so I, I i'm in love i love this deck very very much now this hand is a little tricky we have no payoffs we've got a ton of just draw and a little bit of interaction here we also have the thrill of possibility that we can play off of these this is very not good but i'm gonna try it um 
this is probably not a good keep. Just going to go ahead and say off the face of it. But again, with Thrill of Possibility here, we do have a shot. So we're going to try it. We also, depending on the deck we're against, this Aether Gust might be the thing that we end up discarding. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Ooh, Goblin Arsonist. Okay. Well, this is actually great. Let's let's play Joel Rael. This may eat a shock, but um, it does kind of... It, it's a bit of a must answer on the opponent's side. Otherwise, we just kind of get to go wide. Um, and they probably can't keep up if we do get to go wide. So, um, okay. Looks like they're not doing it. We're, of course, not going to block. Take that damage. That's fine. Um... That's even better, probably. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> Get a 2-2 two -two here. Uh, and we'll actually attack him for one. That's a bit of a risky attack. Generally, it's not good to against these mono red decks, but I don't think we're ever going to be blocking with Jorael, so we might as well kind of take the opportunity. Um, that's very, very good. Uh, we do have a few ways to kind of deal with it, but it's not ideal with this cav- the, uh, this Calamity card is so annoying. I hate it so much. <laughs> um, all right, so what do we want to do? Let's do this. Teferi, huh? Okay. I think we keep that. Um... I'm going to put this out just to give us some options here. And then we're going to not attack. Um, now, this is going to be interesting because depending on how we play this, we might be able to kind of really get them here. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, sure. Get their dwarf. That's fine. This is going to be interesting. Okay. See what they give it. Let's do, let's Aether Gust this. I think that this is the correct play because this thing's just going to get very out of hand. We probably should have done this pre-combat. That was a bit of a mistake. We're taking an extra damage and doing it this way, um, which is not correct, but that's fine. Okay. They get to shock there. That's fine. So this can't block. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to kill that. Um, let's do this. Let's see. After a thousand years, I'm getting I think we're actually just going to phase this little goblin out. Sorry, by the way, I'm not being very uh, talkative here. Um, I'm very much thinking, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, goodness, I suck. I suck. Um... We'll attack with one. I misplayed tremendously. We should have drawn a card, discarded a card. I thought it came in on four. That was just a mistake. That's fine. Um, all right. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was a pretty big misplay because having this out uh, is really, really important. This now essentially does nothing. That was just dumb. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We're learning. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. So now this can't block. Let's just do this. Chances are we're just going to lose here then. Um, yep, that's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and concede. That was a huge mistake on my end that definitely cost us the game, uh, I would say. I think we could have, I mean, we might have been in bad shape anyway, but we definitely would have done better. So that was just a misplay on my end. All good. All good. Silly things happen. Let's jump into our last game of this video. Of course, we will jump into a second video afterwards. So uh, if you have the time and would like to check that video out, it should be up just a few minutes after this one. Uh, at least I hope um, everything uh, going smoothly, uh, it should. And so if you're interested in uh, watching that one, please make sure you do. Uh, this is a pretty good hand. We've got Joel Rael here with quite a lot of draw. Um, so I think we'll, we'll lean on this. This is fine. We can turn one, obviously, throw out this Steam Vents here. Pyromancer, fantastic. 
I like that quite a lot. Um, and depending on what we're up against, both of these can be very, very strong, obviously. So uh, let's play this. Let's go ahead and get Joel Rael out. Uh, this is a very foundational deck in that you do kind of have to take the time in the first few turns to set up that foundation generally. Um, and so I prefer to kind of lean towards that route, but uh, it can certainly be a challenge sometimes to do that. So, um, hmm. Let's do this. Again, foundational. Uh, we are against another teamer deck here, uh, so very interested to see what they're actually going to be doing. But... Um, We'll see. We'll find out. Looks like they're just ramping like crazy. Uh, which is good for us, because then we obviously are going to be able to get hopefully a lot of stuff down. But uh, what I'd be worried about now is just an Ugin. Uh, an Ugin coming down, sweeping. That would be pretty tremendous on their end. Um, what we could consider is leaving up some of these growth spirals and things like that, so that way we have a reactionary way to deal with it. Um, but I don't know that I love that, to be honest. I'm going to Uro here. Uh, we do need to hit a land drop pretty badly. Good. We got it. We'll enter that tapped. Deal three and then get our 2-2. Two -two. Um, and we'll obviously attack for one. Um, Might have been better actually to... Uh, with Mystical Dispute, it probably would have been better to have left that up. But that's fine. Uh, we could have always opted as well. Um, again, learning. We're learning as we go. Uh, chances are they they might have like a Nissa here, which would be fairly annoying, um, but really not the end of the world. I mean, we get to throw out another Pyromancer as well as an Opt next turn. Um, so we get two, uh, essentially six damage to anything and then a 2-2 two -two out of the deal. Um, so we could kill the land, kill whatever, or kill Nissa maybe um, with an attack and the three damage, and then also just have an extra body on the field. Though that looks as though that's not what they're going to be able to do. Paradise Druid. Okay. That is kind of fine. Um, let's do this. Let's opt. We will keep that on top. Uh, oops. Steal three. Steal three. Get our 2-2. Two -two. Play land. Uh, and we'll just attack with our 2-2 here. If they want to trade off, they can. I, again, Ugin is definitely what we're worried about. And chances are they've got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they've got one land and the Ugin, that's going to be bad. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll figure something out here. Um, I did not leave up anything, so that way we could get this fairly large attack in. So maybe that was incorrect. We're learning as we go. Um... Also, just want to give a quick shout out uh, to um, a uh, a streamer, Lady Ziggy. Uh, she is in our Discord channel. She um, she shared her stream, which, by the way, if you are in our Discord uh, and you're doing magic related content, feel free. Um, really, just any content, but feel free to. Uh, oh yes, yes, please. That was great. Uh, feel free to share that content, um, like a stream or whatever, in. Uh, in our discord you're more than welcome to do that uh just put it in the off topic channel if you would please um but yeah you're more than welcome to and that uh she she does illustrations uh and she does a phenomenal job as well uh they were truly beautiful that she was working on i only got to hang out for about 15 minutes um but i i saw quite a lot of our other people <coughs> from our discord hanging out in there uh, so I just want to say thank you to everybody for going and checking her out. Please give her a follow. She does a phenomenal job with her illustrations. Um, she's new to Twitch, uh, but she does have a Twitch channel. Uh, and again, all that you can you can find all that in that off-topic channel in our Discord. Uh, but go hang out with her. She does a great job. It's it's fun. It was fun to see her in her element doing her thing. Uh, it's really really cool. I'm hoping. Um, I, I really really hope that we'll be able to work together very soon on a couple of things. And I think that it'll be hopefully a really fun time um but again go check her out she's doing a phenomenal job great illustrations for sure okay wow they just gained a ton of life um do we just flash out the borrower here i don't think so land let's do this sure uh enters tapped 
Shoot him. Shoot him. Gain some life. Uh, yeah. Obviously not attacking with these, but let's get some damage in. Uh, there is a world where we do this and then play this out, but I actually don't think that's right. Um, I think in case they do have a new gun, it's better to leave that one back. Uh, so we can kind of start the engine going again if need be. Interesting, interesting. They're hanging in there. I mean, they've just got heavy hitters. It's team of ramp, so I mean, if naturally they're going to. Um, that's where this deck, I think, suffers slightly, is that they don't, there's not really a ton of, like, heavy hitting things, it's all synergistic things, and therefore, you get into a position where all you're doing is trying to keep the engines going, uh, which is perfectly fine, and I think it works out usually pretty well, but, um, that does obviously cause some, some slight issues. Let's go ahead and get this out. Uh, let's cycle. There we go. And we got it. Uh, again, feeling great with this deck, guys. I really love it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, again, please go check out Lady Ziggy. Please make sure to enter our Double Masters giveaway as well. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel, comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters, and you are entered to win. We did try and catch up on comments yesterday, uh, but I know there have been a number since then. So make sure uh, we, we will do our best to respond to you very soon, and usually it's in a couple days. So just keep that in mind. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Pardon the misplays, but uh, we did okay. We got two and one. So we'll uh, jump into a second video here. So I hope you guys will check that out, but I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.